Okay, but I can see why these was the favorites for the month of February because look at the skin. It don't lie. The proof is in the pudding. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Any Company Channel. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite products from the month of February. There's a lot of makeup releases and a lot of drops, a lot of stuff that I haven't even touched yet. But I'm gonna let you guys know what really works for me and the things that I can't put down. Like when I'm doing my makeup, I just naturally gravitate towards these products and they've been some things that I'm just like, wow, this brand really did their thing. So be sure to hit that bell button, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss an upload and let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so the first product that is like my favorite from the month that I tried is this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Now this feels so good on your lips. Like I use this in the morning, in the nighttime, throughout the day and it has easily became like my favorite lip balm so i just use this before makeup just to get my lips really really hydrated for like lip liner lipstick all that good stuff because sometimes you know when you don't put nothing and you go on with it your lips can look a little crusty and dry and crackly this is actually really hydrating like after you use it you probably you know sometimes you have to keep reapplying like hydration to your lips this is not one of those. This is one of those that's like, okay, we got you. We're going to keep your lips hydrated, feeling good. It smells so good. Like, oh, it's just the best vanilla greatness. Like, honestly, it just makes me want to smell like straight up vanilla. Like, it smells so good. And I can definitely see myself repurchasing this. I don't know about the other shades. They have some like reddish kind of ones, some like brown ones, but... I feel like for me what I really just want is the lip balm like I don't really care about it being like adding color for me I just like using this like as a anytime no makeup makeup it doesn't matter like I really like this so definitely one of, easily became a favorite and you get so much product in this so, so this has became one of my favorite moisturizers so I used to use Pond's dry skin cream because if you guys don't know I have dry to combination skin and I can find that to be heavy sometimes, especially depending on the like, time of the year. So like in the winter time, I can get away with like Pond's Dry Screen Cream. But sometimes I can't get away with it because I can get to feeling like really like greasy and especially like in the summertime when it's just hot. I don't think I need such a thick moisturizer. So this is the Honest Beauty Hydrogel Cream. So I'm gonna tell you this now because you might purchase this and be like, girl, what are you talking about? This like doesn't blend out easily. But this is the type of product that it has to blend out with like something underneath it to get the best out of this. So like when I put my toner on and like if I put a serum on, this will literally, when you're rubbing it, it just turns into like water and it feels so hydrating. It leaves such a pretty glow on your skin. It's just really stunning. Like honestly, this is a really great moisturizer. It has zero smell to it. So you see, it has like a... A really light faint smell but it smells like clean I especially love this in the nighttime because it's almost like a water sleeping mask when I put this on at night my skin is like so hydrated and just feeling nice so I've been like really enjoying this moisturizer from Honest Beauty so this is Jessica Alba's brand and it is really good I haven't really tried much from her skincare line because I'm always super scary to try skincare and really like change stuff up because i know it's like my skin will start acting up but this has became something that i really really like and love before makeup too it's like stunning okay so favorite like foundation i was easily gonna give this to the makeup by mario because i love that foundation i could talk about it all day if you guys don't know what it looks like the bottle looks like this right here one of my favorite foundations but the elf is so pretty as a foundation now this is like supposed to be charlotte tilbury supposed to use it like underneath foundation to give an extra glow add it use it as a highlighter but this gives so much coverage and it's so dewy and glass like on the skin that i just feel like i would just want to keep on using it you know what i'm saying and so these you get more coverage with this but as far as like the product and like how it looks on your skin makeup by mario gives a really pretty like glow to your skin but this is so pretty and i just recently tried this out last month for the first time i couldn't get my hands on it for forever i finally was able to get my hands on it and it is so pretty i have mine in the shade light medium which is shade three and i feel like i could go up to shade four but i mean for now it matches pretty nice and this is so pretty on the skin like literally we could take charlotte's name flawless 
filter like this is what that gives you a flawless filter and it's so pretty like i will definitely continue to use this and throughout the summer this is going to be bomb because like you get that much coverage from it so where you don't need a foundation like i just didn't need a foundation like this is the foundation so i also recently tested out the new rare beauty um under eye brightener now i got mine kind of in like a shade that's like too dark to use what you would use this for like let's say um the way she says to use this is to put your concealer on and you could put this on top of your concealer and it's going to add an extra bit of brightness to your eyes for me the way i use this is i use this before concealer and this for one it's just like a feel-good product for me like the metal tip applicator is so perfect for your under eyes it feels so great and then it gives you a little bit of coverage i also feel like i can get away with using this with no makeup which is like a bit of a rare moment for me because a lot of like if i'm just like i have no makeup on and my skin looks great but i just have like a little bit of darkness under my eyes and i just want to put a little bit of concealer on i realized once i put that concealer on that i'm like dang i should have just left it the way it was because this is not looking like it's like dang if i was gonna do that i might as well just do the whole shabam because now i look crazy this it's like it doesn't settle into your creases it blends out into like a skin like natural finish so under your eyes it's stunning so pretty so this is like in the shade uh medium i believe which is kind of dark a little bit i mean you can see and i'll show you guys in the demo but it's a little bit more orangey but it blends out so sheer that you can't tell i definitely could have got away with a shade lighter to definitely use the brightening effect of this but i feel like i get it either way even if i'm using it underneath concealer or over you know what i'm saying i haven't used it over but i feel like i'm still kind of getting that same aspect of like giving me just a blank area so when i go on my concealer it's like flawless so yeah definitely is a winner and the packaging is cute i love the like pink rare beauty has just been killing it lately let me let me know what you guys think about that down below like has rare beauty been going off like is it neck and neck with fenty beauty or is this fenty beauty you know a little bit below and rare beauty's been really going and i haven't tried her highlighters yet from this launch like she did a launch with the highlighters and then this and i only got my hands on this i haven't got my hands on the highlighter yet so definitely want to try that out because i love me a pretty skin lit from within highlight that doesn't have like shimmer in it so we'll have to see so this new concealer from um, urban decay easily became my favorite i used to love so these are both the stay naked um concealers right here now i don't know what much of the difference is between this this is the color correcting concealer and this one is um just the 24 hour multi-use concealer so i guess the fact you can use this like kind of everywhere but I really liked this concealer i didn't really like the foundation that much like i have to be honest like the foundation was like not a favorite of mine this one i'm literally out here like juggling things like i'm in a freaking circus okay so i don't like the brush on here i don't feel like it's all that great and less is more with this product so today when i use it i just use like three dots to really give myself like a bright um eye. i really like the color on this because it's like really bright um, I feel like I could definitely go up a shade for this, but the coverage is so pretty. The finish is pretty. It doesn't give you much creasing. Let me look at my under eyes really quick. Like, my under eyes look really flawless right now. It's balanced out nice. It's blended out nice. It's really pretty. Like, it's a, it's easily became, like, I knew I was going to like this because it's full coverage, but it's hydrating. And the shade range is awesome because they have such brightening shades. So, even if you're darker, you're going to be looking for that brightening aspect with this concealer. You'll definitely find it. So, um, yeah, this has easily became a favorite product of mine. And I only tried it, like, what, once or twice maybe? So, it's, like, my third time trying it. And it's already, like, a winner. Like, I can see myself using this. Definitely will be keeping. Okay, so I do not have a demo for the bronzers that I used today. The cream bronzers. Because I did a separate video testing the milk makeup in the tower 28 within this video so i like stopped it and went over there and filmed that one now i'm coming back and like finishing this video and i gotta you know what i'm saying it's a little bit of work but we don't what we have to do so i don't have a demo for this but if you want to see how these applied and which one i recommend out of these two definitely go check out that video and you know i have a little i have one other video that's like comparison comparing uh two different products but we have the milk makeup contour and we have the tower 28 contour and bronzer so that is what is on this side is the milk makeup on this side and Tower 28 is on this side. Let me know in the comments which side is your favorite. If you feel like this side's better or if you feel like this side's better. I'll let you know my opinions in that video. So be sure to go check it out after this video. Okay, so for blush, I used the Denisa Myricks um, Yummy Skin 
this is like their blurring blush kind of thing this is so pretty and it's so like so pigmented so less is so much more like literally don't get carried away i've gotten carried away using this almost every time i used it and it's so pigmented so you definitely can go overboard but the color is so pretty the smooth the smoothingness of it is only 25 dollars so it's like really nice they have a really nice shade range and i think you guys are really gonna love this product like i don't even have any powder blush but even through everything that i put on it's still peeking through and doing what she has to do like it's just it's so pretty so definitely recommend this blush right here for the price point and like how much product you get and literally you just need to dot your brush in there like kind of similar to the rare beauty uh liquid blushes where you just need like a dot it's kind of difficult to do a dot with this type of product but literally kind of just dot your brush in there just barely and blend and then build up because if you swirl in here like you're really trying to get some product on your brush you're gonna really spend some time blending like so if you're trying to go for like some effortless five minute makeup you can get that with this product but just be very sparing with this product because you don't need that much okay so this is an oldie but a goodie i repurchased this last month so it's not this definitely didn't come out last month along with the elf halo glow not not false filter the elf halo glow um liquid product um but if they repackaged it i don't know if they reformulated it or anything but this is one of the smoothest powders like when i put this under my eyes it just melts into the skin and it just looks so pretty like i just can't get over it like my skin looks so smooth when i use this powder and sometimes my under eyes can get really crepey like i'm not gonna lie with powders i'm so picky like i have to be picky with my powders because my under eyes can look crazy like some of them don't set well with certain concealers and they will look insane like i'm not even lying to you my eyes my under eyes i don't know if it's just me but like the creases it can get cakey and, and just like crumbly and like ugly like i'm not even lying to you guys so powder is so important like what you set your face with is going to set the tone of your makeup you know what i'm saying so it's like really be picky what powders you use like i don't feel like with a collection you need to have like the way i have a bunch of blushes and bronzers is not the same way that i'm gonna have a bunch of powders because there's like a few select powders that do what i want and this one is one the maybelline family powder and huda beauty powder is really nice as well laura mercier is like kind of up there a little bit but those are like top three huda beauty um elf and maybelline those ones give me just like such a smooth base to my skin like very poreless very like just sets everything well so for me i'm not the type of girl that's going to be out here purchasing a bunch of powders because it's just not for me like i just feel like let's play around with blushes let's play around with different foundations and concealers and all that jam but when it comes to putting setting that down girl like i'm not about to be out here looking crazy so definitely a favorite and this will continue to be a favorite i'm not really going to be one of those people switching out my powder so often i do have to say i have been enjoying though the powder puffs that i did set my face with so i'm used to setting my face with like a sponge or a small tapered brush similar to this right here this is like one of my favorite brushes because i can really like swirl and dust the product on and get like an even application and i can just easily set it's like perfect for under the eyes but this little powder puff gets right in there just perfect so i really have been enjoying this it gets like a good amount of powder very even application as well because it's like just kind of you know and also when i dip my powder in i kind of press off excess on the back of my hand just so i don't go in too much powder because i am more on the dry side so i don't need excess powder you know what i'm saying but under the under eyes they have to be set and smooth i can't it'll move around way too much for me so i have easily fell back in love with the nars laguna bronzer i purchased like a big nars nars bronzer of the laguna a long time ago and i I think I went through it or I hit pan on it and it broke and I ended up like decluttering it or something like that. But I have this mini right here, which I don't even know where I got from to be honest, but it's so pretty. Like I set everything and it's just so smooth. Now this is mainly what NARS is known for. Like the orgasm blush, the Laguna bronzer is what they're known for. And I feel like it is top tier now that they can't really come out with much more. It's like NARS, what are you doing? I mean, their foundations are nice and stuff, but like this is like their main thing and i get why it is their main thing because it is a really nice bronzer so it has been my favorite of the month like if i point out a bronzer that i picked up 
the most it was this one i don't have like a new one but i do have a cream um bronzer that i was really enjoying which is the elf luminous putty bronzer so this is a really nice alternative not alternative because this is obviously a powder but this is another one that i would say was my favorite of the month that's for the bronzer i didn't do any powder blush so this is just the Danessa Myricks peeking through under the skin and I think it is absolutely stunning like I really do I think it's so pretty like also right now I have on some Ardell lashes um no eyeshadow and I put them underneath my lash line so what I do is and I can make a dedicated video because as you can see you cannot see the band lash extensions or what girl okay so this is just um a lash underneath and these are very like small and simple lashes i think these are like some of the original ardell lashes i do need to re-up on some more lashes because these are kind of funky but really pretty because it just gives you such a pretty look without having to see the band and everything like that like it's it's top tier like i don't do my lashes any other way now and i don't even know if i would necessarily go back into spending money on lash extensions because i was a lash extension girl at one point in my life um I just realized how much they made my lashes go flat and also I like being able to switch up the style of my lashes and taking them off at night just being honest with myself you know it's like I can do this and wear no makeup because I think that's the thing with lash extensions is the fact that you wake up and it's like your lashes are done and you just look way more put together like you're cool with not wearing makeup because your lashes are done but you can do that by putting these lashes underneath and you'll get the same effect as lashes and you don't have to put any makeup on then you can come home and take them off but anyway so this is one of my favorite mascaras that i use underneath on my natural lashes top tier favorite mascara really no other mascaras that i use that i can really point out in today's video so i use this highlight in here from elf today these are only like three dollars so they're bite-sized little face palettes this highlight in here is so stunning like it's one of those powder highlights that looks so skin like it's not really like sheeny not no it's like sheeny basically like it's not glittery so it gives you like a really sh like flush shine and it's so pretty like look at my skin i mean of course there's a lot of other products that are, is playing a reason why i'm so shiny like the elf um halo glow powder and the elf um liquid foundation kind of thingy but this highlight from elf right here is so pretty so i'm thinking dang i might have to get more shades in that and like the little duos because the blush is really nice too but this i mean i'm using it in the inner corners as well today and on the brow bone and like down the nose on the chin and this is so pretty for like the summer and springtime i feel like this is like my ideal face for like the springtime it goes with so many different looks and it's so pretty so my next favorite product was this uh rare beauty uh lip liner in the shade y specifically um, I have tried one other shade in this lip liner, which wasn't my favorite. I ended up returning it. But um, this shade in Wise is so pretty. It gives like such a pretty look to your lips. It's so smooth. It like really fills in your lips nicely. It lasts. Um, and it's like, I think it's like $20 or $18, something like that. But um, I really like this color. It does have like a built-in sharpener in it and everything like that. So this isn't something I would wear without makeup because sometimes i look for lip liners that i can use when i'm like okay i'm not doing really any makeup but i might put on like a lip gloss like a clear gloss and i like a brown lip liner and like maybe a little bit of mascara and that's it but this isn't one of those because the color is not that type of color to where you can do it and it's like your lips but better kind of like really nude it is like a reddish brown nude but more on like the warm but it's really pretty i really do like this lip liner and with makeup and like a nude lip it's so pretty and then i have here the lip lacquer in the shade whispering pink from elf and this is really sheer i'm just gonna put a little more on it's really sheer it doesn't give much color but it's pretty smooth i had i did test this out in my testing new elf makeup and i didn't really like it that much but i grew to like it on top of other products so when i was using it in that video i just had used um the elf liner in this but this time when i'm using it on top of a lipstick i get a really pretty basic sheen to the lips this by itself i i i wouldn't stand for it like i i wouldn't it wouldn't be what i picked but um it's a nice little gloss it's kind of not sticky but you're not gonna get that that much uh product on the applicator 
when you put it on which is fine because to be honest i'm just copying it over a lipstick and a lip liner and then it kind of brings the lips to life without giving them too much of a shine like you know that too much shiny look like this is not going to be that so that is how i created this face right here and these are definitely my favorite products of the month oh i love one other which i'll show you right now i didn't do a demo of it but this is the merit um volumizing brow pomade so it comes in a little uh applicator like this and i use this to set my brows in this gives such a nice color and uh sets the brows nicely so especially in the summertime i feel like we're gonna need to set our brows because our brows is gonna be trying to swipe off of us and we don't have time for that but the formula of this is really nice it really is like a pomade and i think mine is in the shade brown so it sets the brows really nicely so this is it right here really kind of like cute looks packaging mirror is one of my favorite clean brands at sephora if i have to be honest thank you guys so much for watching be sure to let me know what products were your favorite from february some favorite launches of yours maybe there's something that i haven't tried that i really need to try because you know sometimes y'all probably been trying stuff before me i'm not gonna lie sometimes i'll be a little bit late i'll be a little bit late i ain't tried that yet but so let me know what's your favorite what you're currently using what's in your makeup bag what do you take with you when you go out you know what i'm saying let me know i need to know the goodies because girl i'm such a creature of habit i will go back to the same products from 2021 if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe down below and you have to catch my next video so until then bye